that was an exclusive clip that was given to me by EA and DICE of Battlefield 4 in its current state. Now there's not much to go on on the gameplay, I admit it's not the most amazing bit of gameplay in the world, but we did get to have a look at the Scorpion Evo. This is one of the PDWs that's going to be available to the Engineer class and its standout feature is of course the 1100 rounds per minute that this thing can produce. But apart from that, that's all we can really see from the gameplay. We can see the guy had the aim of a potato, but uh, I actually have an explanation as to why that may be because of course the game's still in development stages so they haven't really refined all the controls and stuff like that and I know from the E3 gameplay there wasn't actually a sensitivity slider available to the players of the game. I was speaking to Charboy about it who actually went out there and he said there was no sensitivity slider so that may still be the case. So moving on from the exclusive Battlefield 4 footage we move along to the second part of this video. Now if you happen to read the title you'll of course know that that is Battlefield 4 news. I've got a few tidbits to get through so I'll try and keep it short and sweet and get out as much information as possible at the same time. But we're going to start with a cover up I think. One of my very astute followers on Twitter decided that he was going to go onto the Battlelog forums last night and he came across a Russian forum where one of the developers for Battlefield 4 was spilling the beans on some of the parts that were going to be included in the game that we haven't heard about yet. Now I was quite keen to read this myself but by the time I got over to the forum it had already been shut down which pretty much meant the information that was in there shouldn't have been given out. Now unfortunately we didn't manage to get any screenshots and of course it was all in Russian so it had to be translated with Google Translate anyway so some of it is a little bit sketchy but this was all written out by a developer from Battlefield 4. The highlight of all the information that was written out on that page was changing weather conditions in real time. Now this may not surprise you considering Levolution is a big part of Battlefield 4 already. We've seen that with the skyscraper collapse on the Siege of Shanghai map but it does confirm that we are going to be getting dynamic weather for those maps and that hadn't been confirmed so far. I actually made a video two or three months ago about having dynamic weather in Battlefield 4 and how good that would actually be and the community response was fairly positive. A lot of you guys in the comments section really expressed how it could change the map and keep it fresh at the same time so you wouldn't always get bored of playing the same round all the time. So it's nice to see DICE have actually considered that and uh, actually implemented it as well so that should be pretty cool. To go along with that we've got some hints of that EA survey that was mentioned a few months back. You're able to switch the electricity off in buildings and you can open and close entrances to certain areas of the maps. Now that second part is quite interesting because we've already seen it implemented in the Seas of Shanghai multiplayer map. If you remember in the E3 gameplay we actually saw bollards in place on that bridge. It actually stopped the enemy team from getting across the bridge too quickly. I guess these are kind of all logical steps on top of what we've already seen for Levolution so I'm not hugely surprised about all this but it's nice to see that it's now actually come out and been said by a DICE developer. Now I'm not going to go as far as actually to say this is confirmed because of course it hasn't been so far. It looked like it was actually trying to be covered up by the fact that the forum got taken down. So take these all with a pinch of salt but they are quite likely to happen in my opinion. And the second bit of Battlefield 4 related news is kind of sad really. We've recently seen the release of the battle log trailer for Battlefield 4 and that detailed quite a few things and in amongst that was of course battle screen. It has now been confirmed that battle screen will not work with current gen consoles. That means the PS3 and the Xbox 360 are going to be missing out on the second screen feature that battle screen actually offers players. So for the guys on PC and next generation consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4, we're in the clear there. We can use our second monitors and second tablet screens however we like. But I'm afraid for the current gen consoles, it's just not going to happen. They have come out and said though that it's still going to be deeply integrated into the current gen systems. Battle Log is still going to be very influential and a lot of the features that are available are still going to be available for those current gen consoles anyway. And it actually puts everybody playing on that platform without battle screen on an even footing because of course as we know for PC, PS4 and Xbox One that second screen is optional and can give you a huge advantage. One final little bit of information that came out very recently with an interview with Patrick Bark who's one of the lead designers and developers for Battlefield 4 was the inclusion of dynamic factions. Now this is quite a cool concept because the idea is basically that factions don't have a specific side of map that they can spawn on now. I.e. there isn't a specific deployment for each faction on each map, they can be swapped around by the server. And also depending on the game mode, for example Rush, it doesn't always have to be one faction that's defending and the other faction that's attacking, that can be switched around. 
and this is quite an important feature considering we now have three factions. The server can also choose which factions are pitted against each other on each map, which means we could be seeing the US versus China on Seas of Shanghai, but we could also be seeing the Russians versus China on the same map. It's a little feature that's going to make a big difference I think because it's not going to be noticed by too many but I think it's got enough of a gameplay element in there to change it around a little bit. So that's all the Battlefield 4 information wrapped up for now guys. I quickly just want to touch on the Battlefield 4 beta. The time is coming closer and closer to when the beta will actually be released. There's still no set date at the moment but if you want access to that beta there are three separate ways that you can get in. If you have played Medal of Honor Warfighter and have the limited edition then you are into the Battlefield 4 beta. If you're a member of Battlefield 3 Premium then of course you're already in the beta as well. But the one final way is of course to pre-order Battlefield 4. The reason I'm bringing this up is of course because I have a 25% off discount code for digikeys.co.uk so you can pre-order Battlefield 4 off of that website, put in my promo code which has just popped up at the bottom of the screen there and you'll instantly get 25% off the pre-order price. And on that note, this video is about to end, so I just want to say thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button so other people can see that exclusive Battlefield 4 gameplay. And comments are always appreciated too, I do try and read as many as I can. But for now, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.